From Anjo to Tana, this is Captain Karayanis requesting permission to enter port. We have an emergency. Tana to an Anjo. Under the terms of the Helsinki Naval Agreement, I must first come on board to inspect your cargo. Commander Ulborg, if you won't let us go into Nautique, we will find another port. Tell Mr. Tomasis he must dump his contraband overboard immediately or he must face the consequences. Did you hear that, sir? You know, I must be going deaf. I still can't hear. We have static on 219. A change to frequency 764. Tell Mr. Tomasis we have played cat and mouse far too long. My first shot will be a near miss across your bow. My second, a direct hit. I will convey your message and get back to you. Mr. Tomasis, I don't think he's bluffing. The stakes are very high, Karayanis. I can lose my tanker, my cargo, and go to jail. I'll wait for one more card. Commander Ulbor, we are trying to locate Mr. Tomasis. Directly we find him, I am confident he will contact you himself immediately and come to an amicable arrangement. Out. What do we do, Mr. Tomasis? Ariannis, you are fired. Thank you, Mr. Tomasis. a signatory of the International Convention. And now in Norwegian waters, Mr. Tomasis, your cargo and ship are impounded. My friend, you are mistaken. I, uh, I am a guest. On this ship, I am uh, simply a guest for the, for the boat ride. And under naval arrest, you and the captain, Karianis. For well, that is the Shawada, not Karianis. <coughs> You sold the ship. Every day is a small life, Commander. A modest enterprise. You scheming bum! In the middle of the ocean, you sold the ship. And the cargo, too. Commander, they own a new tanker and a whole lot of whale oil. Eight million dollars worth. Give me a bottle. Nice bottle. And this water. He has a new ship. Commander, give him a bath. After all, a new ship, come on, a nice bath. Yoko, you're a shy master.
I missed you. See me. See me. <laughs> Welcome home, Theo. Hey, where's, uh, where's our son? Where's, uh, where's Nico? At his bungalow. Oh. I see her. South America. But I was there a week waiting uh, for you. You were not alone, you naughty girl. <laughs> yes, but nobody's like you. Hey, maybe next time in Paris, huh? Oh, yes. Paris would be lovely. Paris is my favorite. When are you going to Paris, Paula? Oh, in a few weeks, Simone. Can you wait and I'll join you? First, we're going sailing. See you, Nico, and I. Just the three of us. Yes, you'll be pleased to week on Tragos. It would be lovely to go away for a while. Oh, my God, my God. <laughs> Say, oh, you are back oh, from the sea. Mm -hmm. You love me, say, oh. What a thing to ask you, my brother's wife. Why do you ask, eh? Who doesn't she ask? Huh? Why didn't she wait for me? Because my great brother wanted you for me. <laughs> Come on, Theo. You should have waited for me. Maybe I should have. Hunting whales, for Christ's sake. What for? What did you send to it? Sit down. I have something to tell you. You know the Selena brother, eh? What about the Selena? A beautiful ship, the Selena. You always wanted her, huh? I saw it once. I thought it was uh, uh, kind of small, no? The papers come tomorrow. I'll sign them. We go to Pireo. I'll give you a ride. What do you say? Go to her, uh, Spiros. Go take care of your wife. Ah, I wish I could lend her to somebody. So you could rent that black girl again? She tells people that you scream uh, obscene things in bed. Ah, speed, speed. It's so bad for the family name. Nico! Uh, Papa! <laughs> Nico! Welcome home, Papa. How are the whales? Pity. Hey, how are you, huh? How does it go? Okay. Okay. Yeah. And everything is, uh, everything's okay? Yeah. And the, uh, the girls, you mean, they treat you good? <laughs> God damn it, son. It's, oh, it's great to see you. You too, Papa. You too. Hey, you know that brick brother of mine? He says he's buying a Selena. Fuck him. <laughs> we'll buy him. Right out from under his ass. What do you say? You like that? Uh, between you and Uncle Spiros. No, 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 no. no. It's for you. I'm going to buy it for you. Mm -hmm. well, 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 you mean for me? Why? Well, what do you mean? So, so you'll own a beautiful tanker, so my son will start his own fleet, so you'll get into business like your papa. Now, come on, what's the matter? Well, what's, what's the matter with starting by owning a tanker? Nothing. What do you want to do? You want to bust your ass on talks like me? You want to roll cigars with your spit like me? Nico, I did it all. Enough for both of us. Okay, okay. You let me start my own business my way. <laughs> Come on, let's sit down. Tell me, uh, what you, uh, what is your idea? Idea? Let me buy the tanker, not you. Oh. No, let me prove I can do it without you. Let me negotiate for it, let me deal, bargain, all of it, but me. Okay, you buy the Selena. And I make it happen myself, or I fall on my ass. On your own. Do you? <laughs> it's a deal. Let's go and have a drink. Hey, but a little advice from the old man is okay. I mean, no, no, just this much advice. Now, you call Christopoulos in Salonica. Whatever his deal is with Spiros, tell him to cancel, and you buy them. And huh? you, you set a fair price. But if he says no, tell him the uh, Greek government will see those papers in the... In my safe. Uh, no, that's blackmail. <laughs> blackmail bullshit, son. That's commerce. You be nice. Christopoulos is an old friend. Let there be no doubt. 
Lock the papers in the safe. Hmm? Would you, uh, you'd be nice. Bill. You haven't met Senator Cassidy and Mrs. Cassidy. Mrs. Cassidy. How do you do? Mr. Tomasis. Senator. Thanks so much for the afternoon. Uh, you're getting ready to leave, huh? Why do you have to leave, huh? Why? We must. Oh. Uh, we're making a party tonight on my boat. Robert will be disappointed. He wanted to meet you. He asked. Uh, Robert uh, Keith. Robert Keith? Yes, he's uh, coming in from Cyprus tonight. James, we've already made our arrangements. I'm sure they'll understand that. Ah, wonderful. Any time after dark, I will send a boat after dark. I'll look forward to it. Thank you. Mrs. Cassidy, goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye, Senator. <laughs> Phil, Robert didn't ask to meet the Senator. Is the Senator such an important man? Oh, yes. Very. <laughs> Truman told me, I must have been years later, that at Potsdam, his one experience with Stalin, he wanted to feel him out, learn Stalin's attitude. My boy, when I was prime minister, Mr. Truman told me that he knew Stalin had broken 47 treaties since he came into power. Right point to Truman. At Potsdam, you all fucked up. Fucked up? Yes, fucked up. Rather graphic. I never heard it put that way before. Fuck up. Excuse I'm a peasant, a vulgar peasant. I'm uneducated. I, I should have said to my... Yeah. You're not a peasant. You're not an uneducated. You're a very intelligent man. I'm not angry with you. I'm angry with myself. What you said just now was the truth. We did fuck up at Potsdam. <laughs> Where can I have a pee? You go down, straight down to your left. <laughs> Get your ass up here. Stop making so much fucking noise. Batalas, how is the film? Oh, Dio, it's our music. Let's dance. Oh, come on. Well, there was no bloody battle. By the way, 
I would like to show you something. Show me what? My etching. Your etching? Yes, one. I have only one. <laughs> Come on. The stairs. They've been raining for a long time, but this night, suddenly this night on the half of the moon, like a, like a sea of light, like, a, like an explosion, you know what I mean? The town was lighted up with the moon, and the night was filled with shouts and screams. You want to know? His name was Plato. My father. Plato. And he was carrying me in his arms, and he was running. Well, everybody was running. And the church was burning. The Turkey soldiers set fire to the church. And the priest was there. I remember the priest. He was carrying the big silver cross from the church, and they took him, put him against the wall, the moonlight, long white wall, and they shot him. And the Turks, the Turks. And your father? My father put me in a place where they could not find me. And late in the morning, from the bridge, over the river, among the others, he was hanging. told me they wanted money, not to hang him, but there was no money. That was the day I decided that Tomas's family would never want for money again. He looks like a big, strong man. Well, actually, you see, he may have been very small and very skinny. <laughs> I don't know. Years later, when I was a young man in South America, I went to an artist and I told him what I, what I thought, what I remembered here, what my father looked like. And as I remember my father. Why did you want me to know him? So, uh, you can know about me. Why? Because, Miss uh, I'm sorry, Miss <laughs> Is Lizzie okay? Okay. Because, Lizzie, if ever I offend you, uh, you can say to someone, well, what can you expect? He comes from a, a peasant, a uh, Greeks and Turks, a small town, 11 feet. It's common. No, not common. And how could you offend me here? I will, Lizzie. I will. The mother goddess. To meet her. Isn't she beautiful? The lady of the golden sword, the glorious fruits. The lady of many mysteries. I don't know. I love her. Of many mysteries? Is that why you love her? Oh, no. Then why? Because she has great bits. <laughs> very, very important. Yes? Now, uh, here we are, Senator. This, I, uh, I just got a call from the States. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we're going to have to do it to you again. We have to leave. The National Committee. There's been a decision. Oh, I'm so glad. Uh, terrific news, huh, Senator? That damn car will never make the plane. Ah, the plane will wait. Everything will wait from now on. Come on, Liz. I haven't won the nomination yet. Yeah, but you will. You'll win everything you want. You wouldn't settle for that. No. No, I guess I wouldn't. Hey, Nico. Nico, uh, a minute, please. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. Who's that? Uh, I think he's a beautiful girl. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. No, it's okay. Uh, Mr. Tomas, so yes. uh, thank you for a lovely party. Well, well thank you very now. much for coming. Thank you Good night. very much. Good night. Good night. So, uh, it, uh, it calls the, the, the thing with the Selena. It's done. Ah. Oh, well, well, come on, come on, come on, sir. So, Lara could call ten minutes ago. Uh, yeah. yeah. I told Evangelo, I said, use power of attorney to sign the papers now. Do it. Well, he I did. did. You own the tanker. No, 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 no. You, you own the tanker, you see, eh? You see, Nico? We used the funds, uh, the contingency funds, out of the Ionian subsidiary, and he agreed. He liked it. Well, how much? Same as Spiros. A little bit more. But I didn't have to use the letter in the safe. Well, hey, you're as good as me. My God. <laughs> Nico, today you did a wonderful thing. I mean, you bought a tank and you're going to build an empire. <laughs> Nico, today you were lucky. Nico.
next time you're going to deal, you're going with a loaded gun. Loaded. That's the way to deal. I mean, that's, that's trade. That's commerce. Believe it me, sir. You believe it. Bear with it. Come on, let's go. It was a great day. George! Saludo. You know, more than anything I want. More than anything in the world I want. Just for us to work together. Huh? Get closer. Thank you. Papa, how can you do it? Do what? How can you bring her here? Who? Some donuts. Well, son, uh, uh, I'm a Greek, uh, like you. Uh, Levantine, uh, Nico, a man, a man has a right to his own life. I mean, like you will have the right, you understand? No. <laughs> that you will see me. That will get married. Married? I am married. And you are married. And like it is, is it's the only way. Graziat. Bitch. You are not going to use me oh, oh. this what way. What the hell are you mad about? Do not <laughs> use the life of this. No. Come on, tell me. Hey. You are not. Get... Wait a minute. You... <laughs> Section 19 of the United States Merchant Marine Act, only American citizens are entitled to buy these surplus tankers. Now, uh, Mr. Tomasas will be lending the corporate body the funds necessary for the purchase. Four million for each of the 20 tankers, the sum of 80 million dollars. It's my privilege, partners. <laughs> now, if you will uh, join me in a cup of coffee after you've signed the agreements, uh, Cup of coffee, that's all I can afford. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're delighted. Oh, you're very good. Thank you. Excuse me. Sure. I can't remember. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, yeah. Don't seem like fine choices. All of them seem fine. Good men, all, and true. Uh, Candy, would you mind helping those gentlemen, please? Hi, sir. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. Huh? Well, you got some clout in your oh, Well, what clout? Well, you know James Cassidy. Yeah, he spent a couple of hours on my boat before he was elected president. All of a sudden, I, 
I've got clout in the fine house left. Hey, what's on your mind? Well, if you happen to meet his brother when you visit there, a personal relationship with the new attorney general can't hurt, huh? Michael, we've known each other for a long time. I mean, I mean you, you can level with me. You, uh, you got problems? Uh, I mean, everything's above board. Everything's completely legal, isn't it? I'm, hey, you worried about the, the boy? Well, I told you. They're all good men. No problem. Don't worry me, Michael. Give my regards to the president. <laughs> Always thinking, huh? Last night, Angela Howard sang at the White House. The guests included Neil Diamond, who dropped in after giving his own concert at the Kennedy Center. The Greek shipping magnate, Theo Tomasos, was also there. As were Gregory and Berenice Peck. It seems that the President and Mrs. Cassidy are fusing together politics, show business, and big business as never before. And these days, and nights, there's nothing dull about the social life of the White House. Attorney General. Mr. Tomasi. Mr. President. Hi. Mrs. Cassidy. Thanks so much for coming. It's you. You did meet my brother John. Oh, Attorney General, how are you? Masters. Theodore Tomasi. Hello. Well. Time passes. A child born in the White House is a very good thing, very good luck. My father used to say all the time. I seem to remember you had quite a father. Yes. I want to tell you both, uh, the two of you. You ever get tired of being present? I mean, you, you need a rest. You come to my boat. We'll have a, a fine crew. Well, thank you. Please give our best regards to your beautiful family. Thank you. Thanks for seeing me. <laughs> Stitches on his ass, and what does he think? <laughs> if he hurt me, goddamn kid, he's crazy. That fast in the boat. I mean, he he could have killed himself. I'm gonna tell you something. My son with stitches on his ass. No more boats. No more motorcycles. No more airplanes. You want to worry about Nico? You worry about Nico. Well, I'm not gonna worry about Nico. Theo, I want a divorce. Cindy, for the hundredth time, no. Mailing Memphis with Tyson. You live like a goddess. Oh, yeah. Everything. Like no other woman in the world. What woman in the world lives like you? I love you, Doc. I've loved you since you were 17 years old. 20 years. For Christ's sakes, I've loved you for 20 years. Theo. Hmm? Go to Ireland, the women, your boat, the palace. Oh. Um. Theo. Where the hell do I begin? Sydney. Sydney, you're Nico's mother. really should think about it. A presidential card would look well with labor. Well, I don't know, Johnny. Maybe not with the rank and file. Well, that's possible, but he can cause a lot of trouble. You know, one of the best things you've done as attorney general was putting him in jail. He was skimming that fund, and you proved it. Yes, sir.
it's such a great idea. I really don't. Tomasis has invited us for a change of scenery, a cruise. Why not? His brother Spiro's just had Princess Margaret aboard his yacht. But I mean, how can you compare the two yachts? I don't really like Tomasis. Sometimes he's been here at the White House, he amuses, but I get the feeling it's because he wants to use you. Has he used you? No, he hasn't. And he won't. But he's working on it. I really want to go. I think it would be good for me. There are so many things you can do here. The best therapy is to keep ostracized. Oh, it hasn't been that long since the baby. It's been almost a year now, sir. That's long. When are you thinking of going? I don't know. Soon. Well, calm seas, everybody. I don't want to discuss it anymore. I know you don't. I do. Tomasis is a dangerous man. I don't want you involved with him. Involved? Tomasis manipulates. He dissembles. And he's in deep trouble. Bankers and shadow corporations and something about collusion. Already our State Department has a whole dossier on him. I'm going on a cruise, James. I'm not going to represent your State Department. Liz, you are the wife of the President of the United States. Oh, for God's sake, James, I know who I am. I really do need a change. People watch everything we do, and they read things into it. The whole world does that. <laughs> I know I'm being a pain in the ass reminding you, but that's what they do. You have nothing to worry about. Do you know why? Because I am the wife of the President of the United States. And you are a pain in the ass. Nice people will be sailing with us. Lord and Lady Allison. How do you do? Great pleasure. How do you do? Jean-Luc and Chancellor Madame. Hello. I think you know my wife. Monte Carlo. You had good luck. Oh, of course you know. Angela. Hello. Hello. Ah, oh, the White House, you sang. Yes, lovely. Thank you. And Jefferson Navarro. How do you do? Hello, Scotty. We have already met in camp. Met, yes. Philip Sherman. How, How do you do? And of course, you know. Not <laughs> uh, Adam Naya. It's my pleasure. She reads far. Oh. All right, everybody, no formality. Let go and drink, huh? Some people collect paintings, some people collect stamps. My father collects people. The name of your suite is a Demeter. Do you remember the Demeter? The, the golden sword. The lady with the fantastic uh... <laughs> Over there is Kors. It's a lovely island. But time has forgotten it. You know, I believe this part of the world, the Aegean, the islands, could change a person's life forever. I really believe that. Lizzie. Lizzie, don't you feel well? I'm fine. I'm fine, really I am. You know, uh, the guests, uh, they're very nice people. Hey, maybe, maybe it's the food. 
You like uh, Greek food? I hate Greek food. <laughs> that the hell with Greek food. What do you like? Spanish, Italian, French, huh? French. Flown in for Maxime's every day. No difficulty. Whatever is no problem. Whatever you want. You, uh, you ask. Anything. Okay? Okay. Okay. And the god Sue said to his sister, Leto, hey, hey, you want to see the sun dance? Watch. The sun did her a little, uh, a little dance. And <laughs> she got a big kick out of it. And while the sun was dancing, Zeus took his sister to a very, very high cloud. And he screwed her. Do I offend you? Well, if it didn't offend Leto. No, not Leto. Hera, her jealous sister Hera, she sent a snake. And the snake chased her all over the place until she found refuge. Right here, in the temple of Poseidon. Huh? Fantastic, huh? It's beautiful. Yes. Beautiful and therefore sad. Why sad? Sad because nothing beautiful ever remains. Go. I don't know. thousand kilos of the finest olive oil in all of Greece. Oh, and strawberries, mine, for protection against the world. Come and go. We'll come back to you. I can understand it. Can you? Yes. Theo? Yes? Has she waved to you from that island over there? Is that how you know she's home? What are you talking? What are you talking? Your actress, Metallus. She has her island too, no? Sophia. All the world knows. Well, she won an island. So I got her a good prize on an island. But it's uh, a very small island. <laughs> Throw a play. No. You're not eating, so throw a play. Hoppa! I'd like a steak. No steak. Yavarni, taramosolata, tomates, tzatziki, no steak. Maybe you like uh, kalatogureko. What's that? Gala. It's milk, uh, and it's sweet, like, uh, like cheesecake. Mm. Want to dance? No. Thank you. Hoppa!
so much is bad, it's good. Yeah. Yes? I have to go home. What are you talking about? Home to America. Fly me to Athens and I'll catch a plane to Washington on the way. They don't expect you for two weeks. I know. Daisy, like no other person, you make me feel so alive. I can't stay on these islands anymore. I must go home. I have to. Don't you see, Theo? I have to. When will you come back? Never. Oh, Lizzie. Never.
sadly. I could convey in the name of my country our extreme regret. The great sadness I bring you the condolences of my country. If somehow there could be a way to share your sorrow. There is no way. It's my country, Lord. Majesty seems to be interested in your fleet of tankers. Mm. He has set down certain terms. Study them. If they're acceptable, let me know. Oh, tell His Majesty, I'm sure there will be no problem. And tell him that the arrangement is good for the future. Oh, there are others you know who would... Ah, but the others would exploit the resources of your great country. Well, and for your kindness, Rashid, please accept this gift. Salam, Rashid. that you formed with the Americans. Uh -huh. My understanding, you are going to offer the 20 tankers to the South of the King. Sure. You'll be cutting a lot of throats there. The oil company, the transport company, Yours. and eventually, I think, the American government, my friend. After all, if the King of Saudi Arabia had his own ships, why should he pay to haul his own oil? Then maybe he will think, what does he need the oil company for? Then maybe we'll think, who knows, who knows what he will think, huh? Are you going to make the deal, Theo? Is it going to work? You don't want it to work? It will work. Theo, I want to help you. You? Why not? Why not, Theo? For the good of the family. Theo, I suppose you do give a shit about the family. Hey, is it true? Are you going to, uh... You're going to divorce your wife? Of course! Who can live with her? Sure. Uh, that's a terrible thing to do. Me? But Simi is going to divorce you. <laughs> Simi will never divorce me. Uh, never. My spies. I don't give a damn about your spies. Simi will never divorce me. Ever. Come on, sit down. Tell me about this, your proposition. Okay. You have a ship. Mm. I have ships. Instead of 20 ships, we go to the South of the King with 35 ships. We go to him with fleets of ships. We could have an empire, Theo. The two of us. The two of us. Together. Partners? Partners! <laughs> Brothers! <laughs> Spears. Huh. about time, isn't it? What adultery. But of course. Listen, Theodore Tomasis did wantonly commit adultery on several occasions on the yacht La Belle Simone and other places with Paula Scotti. Paula Scotti? <laughs> How did she dare? Everybody knows. Everybody. I am the reason for divorce. Not that Italian bitch. Not her. Me. See, we have a sense of humor. <laughs> it's 
It's very really funny. Very funny. Not funny. How much longer? For oh, Christ's sakes, it's been over a year. Liz, do something. Something for yourself. Come back to the world. Hey, I tell you what. You put on something special, something terrific, and you go to a party. Why not? When? Listen, that came through. I mean, your brother-in-law, Johnny, he runs for president, and you have to isolate yourself? I mean, well, what is it going to cost him? The state of North Dakota? <laughs> oh, Lizzie. Lizzie, my God, it's good to hear you laugh. Hey, come on, Lizzie. I mean, we'll take a cruise. Pagos, maybe. You want to know something? Lizzie, I... I miss you. Well, how long are you going to be in London? I'll call you in Paris. The plaza? Goodbye. Coffee? Coffee? No. Have you seen the papers this morning? No. Maxwell says John's early lead at the polls is only because he's James's brother. That's probably true, Nancy. Liz, he needs all our help. I sleep. Fine. You look happy this morning. I'm going to go away, Johnny. Well, that's wonderful. I'm going to go to Greece. To Marsis. Yes. Well, that'd be a wrong thing to do, Liz. For whom? For you, for all of us, for the family. I'm thinking of succeeding for the family. Well, that's a sad thing to hear. I'm tired, John. I'm tired of Cassidy politics having to share my loss with all of you. Liz, to go off with that Greek. And ruin the Cassidy image? Yes, and I believe it, Liz. If you hurt the family, you hurt the country. And you'd rather I continue the deception? The anguish behind the veil, this Cassidy, the public shrine. Yes, I am a widow. But the pain's not that sharp. Not now. The dead are dead. I don't weep that easily anymore. I choose not to. Madame, would you like something for lunch? Yes, I would. I'm rather hungry. I'd like, um, some moussaka. Yes. And a small green salad with that goat's cheese, a feta. And a dessert? Could the chef make a galato? Galacto burego. Of course he can. Thank you. Steward? Yes, ma'am. Some wine, please. Yes, ma'am. Retina? Of course. There were always so many people, so many people. Kings and comics and presidents and... Well, it demanded... What? A certain uniqueness? Let me tell you, Hugh, I'm not unique. Bullshit, you're not unique. I'm Tomasi, and you are with me, here and now. And I would want no other woman in the world to be part of this time. So what does that make you? <laughs>
outrageous of you to leave me here 5,000 miles from home with only strangers to talk to. Three days only. You've been, you've been shot for three days. I'll fix us American sharks. I'll be back. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Oh, John and Nancy for me. Son worries. Is that what he does all the time, huh? Would he? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> eight ships impounded. They've taken eight of our ships. So? So the Bahrain Star goes into Norfolk tomorrow. They're gonna impound her too. Papa, what the hell are we doing here? Hey, Nico, come on. We're enjoying hey, this. Hey, come uh, on. Uh, Look, tomorrow is Washington. Tomorrow is Michael Russell, Attorney General of the United he States. He is my best friend. I'll fix it all. Now, will you stop worrying? Look, what a beautiful girl. Where do you find oh, such beautiful girls? Come on, talk to her. Now. I don't want to talk to her. I want to talk to you. You said we have a chance. All right, come on. Let's do it right A federal warrant, Mr. Damasus, you're under arrest. Right, Violation of the United States Merchant Marine Act, Section 19. Come along, Mr. Damasus. Hey, take your gun, damn it. I told you, behave. Break your ass now. Nico, you are free to check, huh? <laughs> Handcuffed in a nightclub, for Christ's sakes. Then you drag me down here to Washington like some kind of goddamn common criminal. John Cassidy talked to you good, huh? John's not in government anymore. He had nothing to do with it. It was my place. You oh, like so much? Oh, Michael, you're beautiful. Beautiful. Attorney General of the United... Does this little bitch have to be here? Uh... He takes her life, Bob. Does he have to be here? Can he be here? Uh, they all scream. Oh, don't like me now, Christ's sake. All right, come on, Barney. Come on. Come on, let's go. Hurry up. Now, Michael, what went wrong? You put it all together when you were a New York lawyer. You told me everything was completely legal. I was not your lawyer. And the way things have turned out, your actions are contrary to the interests of the government of the United oh, States. Don't talk to me, gentlemen. Talk to me. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. All right. My government feels that the Saudis would not have agreed to their own merchant fleet, the fleet you supplied them, Theo, unless they were thinking about eventual expropriation of the oil companies. Theo! That son of a bitch brother of mine said the same thing to me. He put those words in your brain, and he scared the shit out of you. Arresting me with a show of force to the Arabs, was it? Well, suppose they all got together and wanted to run their own oil. My God. So, oh, all right, all right, Michael. You and I are two old warriors. Tell me, what is the ransom going to be? You're going to lose 20 ships. Christ, 20 ships! And a lot of money. And my guess is, Theo, it'll take a miracle to keep you out of jail. I thought how much I wanted to be coming home. This is the best arrival I've ever had. The best because of you, Lizzie. I missed you. Lizzie, let's uh, get married. What 
do you see? Mary me? I don't think it's a very good idea, dear. Why not? Because I'm not a Cassidy? Lizzie, why not? Because I'm from a different universe? Because I'm a peasant? A pirate, a shark? Is that why, Lizzie? No. Lizzie, then tell me. Why not? Well, what is it? Because the widow Cassie gets married again and it, and it shocks the whole world and it bothers you? Maybe. Yes. But Liz, this is a different kind of world where it doesn't matter. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. Because I'm older. Because I will die first. And you will live a long time without me. Oh, it's very sad. Do you know why? Oh, Jesus, Liz. Liz, you, you love me. Absolutely. I mean, you're sad. Desire and pity, that's, that's the whole essence of love. Pathos, it's, it's, it's the essence. Oh, that's by an old Greek. What old Greek? Me. <laughs> be married again, if I was to do it, to be controlled again, more than any man, it would be with you. But I just don't want it. Lizzie, Lizzie, what do you want? To be allowed anything. I just want to change my life. I want to start off again. I'd like to be permitted anything. I mean, to come and go and have no restrictions. I, mean, I just want everything. That's what I'm talking about. Everything. What do you want? And, 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 and you laugh and, and you demand and you get. And where you can shake your little ass and, and be rude and, I don't know, I don't know, stand on your head. <laughs> Liz, there is no problem. I am from us. We'll put it all down in writing, what you must do, what I must do. How much for what? Under what circumstances? I mean, what happens if you run away? If I run away? I mean, all the possibilities. It's horrible. What? Writing it all down. Oh, it's, it's Greek culture. A marriage contract is the way it should be. I mean, it's for your protection, Lizzie, and, and, and it's right. For instance, now you don't want a baby? Okay. No baby. We, we put it down. You want a separate bedroom? Okay, that's the one. Fine. You say you you like to come and go. Or am I going to deny you that? But ten nights a month together. Okay. I mean, <laughs> at least. Huh? Busy. Fifty thousand dollars a month, busy. Put this away on uh, hairdressers, tips, uh, dresses. I don't know. I, I, mean, I don't want to know. Now, you like to travel, another thousand a day, expenses, uh, charge accounts are uh, unlimited. Uh, if the marriage is no good, either of us says, to hell with the marriage. Okay, ten million dollars for every year we stay together. And if we're still married and I die, a hundred million dollars. <laughs> Και στο όνομα του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος. Αμήν. Ευχαριστώ, Μαρή Λάιν. Εμμάιν. Oh, 
Are you angry with me? Darling, today I can't be angry. <laughs> you see, how could you be angry? It was for my sake, wasn't it? Was I? That you didn't like me, that I would be hurt. Oh, no, I, I just thought maybe you would prefer... But, Phil, no. I am happy for you. Happy. Thank you, thank you very much. Have a wonderful marriage. Thank you, Phil. Of course. Be happy, Phil. Spiro, have it open. Benny. Why the hell did you bring her here? I don't know. She just wanted to, to come, come here. Uh, why the hell? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Tu la connais mieux que moi. Tu la connais mieux que moi. Elle est peut-être comme une mule. Vous êtes une chute. Elle est 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 chute. I mean, all evening long, you've been ignoring the most famous woman in the world. Uh, hey, come on, you, Hodger. Uh, you, you say something. Uh, hey, listen. Listen, uh, Rico, he wants to, uh, wants to say something. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Hello, Mother. <laughs> Rico. <laughs> I hope we're going to get on together. Yeah, and I hope you have a terrific time being a tomate. I'm sorry. Smart as a kid. Rico! Look, what the hell was that? Is that a kind of word to talk to my, to, to my wife? Oh, you're the most famous woman in the world. No, I mean my wife. Is that why you married her? Because she's the most famous woman in the world. Jesus Christ, Papa. No, no, no. What honor. And, 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 and respect and... And bullshit. I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. Oh, Christ. Christ on my wedding night. Son, all it takes a little kindness, everything, a little thinking of others. God, can't you try to be friends? She's a... She's a little girl. I mean, she's a woman. Son, she can bring such joy into our lives. I mean, please, please, will you, will you try to be friends, son? Huh? Okay, Papa. Okay, no. I'm sorry about that. No? It's okay, it's okay. okay. What the hell are you doing? I'm going to swim it. Yeah. That's a good idea. You, uh, you sober up, huh? And Spiro's papa. He's supposed to be my friend, too. Well, what has Spiro's got to do with this? You're going to marry your brother, Papa. Uncle Spiro and Mama. It's a fucking lie. No. What? My, 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 my beautiful Simi with that, with that hunk of shit. To spite you, to hurt you, and humiliate you like you did her. What did I do? I, I married a lady. We're crazy. Eh? All crazy. We are. What are you going to do? Into the pool? Hey! Anybody want to go swimming with me? Try it on. Have that. Easy. Beautiful. You bring beauty to a name.
stole them. God damn it, I told you no phones. I don't care. said you'd see her tomorrow. Sure, if Dallas wants to see me, there's uh, no question. She's my friend. She's my, my best friend. Apple ass. Hello. Yes. Why did you marry? What kind of question, huh? Why, uh, on a honeymoon night, huh? Why? You, you. No other woman like you in the world. I mean, you, you make me feel fantastic. You make me feel more than that. I, I told you a million times. What about love? Well, sure, I, uh, I told you. You, you mentioned it. So, man, you got it thrown up your ass. I mean, what, what are we talking, like kids? I mean, how many times have you mentioned it to me? Okay, I love you now you mention it, and everything is, is wonderful. Oh. Come on, what, what, what are we talking? Now, come on, this is a, a honeymoon night. Come on, hey, come on, get in there. Come on. Here, we find all the questions and answers that I did from Sorry. But it's time to talk tomorrow. Listen. Before you go, or after you get back. You want me to lie to you about Miss Dallas? Now, I won't do that. You go to bed with her? Oh, God, it's possible, sure. Oh, Libby. I'm not going to sleep with you tonight, Theo. But it is your honeymoon night. You ought to screw somebody. Go screw a friend. Go to her. Go on, get out. No, my marriage bed, it's, it's, it's unthinkable. Yes, well, I've thought about it, and it works out just fine. Hey, listen, come on. Come on, you are my wife. Ten nights a month. Isn't that the contract you wanted? Tonight is just like one of those nights. Now get out of here. Bitch. Mr. Tomasis, is there anything I can get you, sir? Fuck off. Theo, <laughs> what a lovely wedding that was yesterday. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for inviting us. <laughs> Goddamn crazy kid. He won first prize in Rome, you know. He's the best in Greece. Come on, Nico! Come on! Why, it's liar! Colloquy this for a brain. I don't know, Theo. That was quite the thing she did for you on the airline deal. True. The airline deal was like genius. <laughs> then he goes and does a thing like that. Crazy, that Nico. Anyhow, uh, the vast majority of the world lives on planned economics. Theo, people like us are in trouble. He's right, Theo. Look what's happening in England. What's finally going to happen there? What the hell do you know? I was expressing an opinion. I'm talking to this gentleman about something you know nothing about. Excuse me. Excuse me.
sorry. It'll never happen again. And Lizzie, I love you. Lizzie, I... I love you. Take her. Come on. Come on to bed. No! No bed. Go to the vati, Penny. What that means? Bed is an art. By an old Greek. But it is an art. the orange juice, then they'll go. Oh, you have a beautiful nose. Listen, on that carpet, how many times a month am I allowed? Yes? Yes, Philip. What about you? Gee, you son 
son of a bitch. Like you. Like you killed my Simi. Like you. You killed her. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I had her. So you. You had to have her. I loved her. Son Thank you. Bitch. You love nothing, you bastard. What I do, try to be like me since, since we were kids. My wife, Jimmy, you son of a bitch. It's not true. Killed her. She died because of you. Now, you, that, that, cop of God. <laughs> Try to be, try to be like, like me. Tell me why, 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 why? 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 You, you do the same, dear. Without me, to do something better than me, you would be shit. Not you. But see, I was not you. Tell the boss about you, Madeline. Thank you. Thank you. They come. Remember what? I know, I know. My face is my sword. That's right. I... Okay, in there, let me carry the sword. It's a deal. Mike, you happy? You are a prick. Such language. Gentlemen, shall we go in? You figured it all out, didn't you? What? The man who married the widow of our assassinated president. How could we put you in jail? Michael, Michael. Good morning, Mr. Smiley. Good morning, Mr. Smiley. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Gentlemen, I think we can wrap this up in a very few minutes. Mr. Tomasis. Nico Tomasis, his counsel, and I have been meeting for the last few days, and I think we've come up with a settlement we can all live with. Mr. Tomasis will return title to the government of all ships purchased from us. A balance of mortgage payment due, if any, will be canceled. There will be a fine levied of $7.5 million. We had been talking in terms of a fine of $3 million per ship, $60 million. I'm afraid that would work an impossible hardship on my father. Sir, along with counsel, Mr. Russell and I have had conversations about that. Mr. Russell? Mr. Tomasis is currently negotiating with German interests to build tankers with something over two million deadweight tonnage. Correct. Mr. Tomasis has agreed to break off these negotiations and to bring his business here to the United States. Now, I don't have to tell you what a windfall that would be to our shipbuilders here. As I understand it, Mr. Tomasis is thinking of an immediate expenditure of Sizable sum of money. Quarter of a billion dollars. Money spent here, not overseas. And my father needs considerable monies to fund such an operation. And I'm afraid that a fine of $60 million or anything near that figure will knock the whole thing out of the box. 
7.5, Mr. Tanaka. That's a figure you could handle? Well, uh, a hardship, but uh, I'll have to find a way. Uh... Satisfy you, gentlemen? If you're satisfied, I'm satisfied. I am. Me too. Well, that's it, then. I'll put the papers in work. Well, gentlemen, that uh, seems to conclude today's business. Thank you very much. I'll just see you to your office. Goodbye, Mr. Smith. Oh, goodbye. Pleasure, your pleasure, sir. Thank you. Hey, you're gonna get tired of playing attorney general. You come on the board to take a fine cruise, made up the Dalmatian coast. Uh, oh, and by the way, Michael, I want you to see Plato's. It's fantastic, man. Thank you. I'd like that. Good. Congratulations. <laughs> you go. Nico, today you were as good as the old man ever was. <laughs> Papa. Ah, uh, no, no, maybe, maybe better. Know something? Pretty soon you can take over the Tomas's enterprises. Me alone? Absolutely. And what about what will you be doing? Living, Nico. Living. I'm tired of traveling around the world. Mrs. Thomas is. I must speak to him. Here, it's Philip. He wants to speak to you. What the hell's on board here? Well, there's no one very stirred. Oh, God. 
I can only grieve so much. No, you see, we thought. My son. We thought he was so beautiful. Yes, he was. Oh, goodness. Oh, so tired. Will you see some? Have some tests. Thank you. No, no, leave them. Yes, doctor. Good afternoon. Yes. I can never remember her name. That is Irena. Ah, yes. She has a nice ass. Has she? You know, I never noticed. <laughs> My friend was getting older. Ah, Phil, maybe we should both retire, huh? What to? To an easier life. Why not, Theo? You've got everything. Explain to me. I read yesterday that you won a medal, a gold medal, uh, from Norway. What was it? Industrial merit. No, no. The doctor. What? Honor, money, everything. What else do you want, Theo? More. Can you keep a secret, doctor? Of course. To be president of Greece. A secret, okay? Now, I have a question. But before the question, please. With a look. Now, if I were to uh, become the president, I mean, if I became the president of Greece, who would serve the longest? My vice president or me? Unfortunately, my friend, you have a very short time to live. Live to be a hundred. And he said, uh, Said what? That I shouldn't be 
pleasant at least. Why did he say that? Well, I've had every day. Who needs it? Good. Do you like this one? Fantastic. For the prince's party. Can you see my entrance? I love it. Theo, do you mind me going to Paris first? <clears throat> You'll be alone here. Only for a while. It was a nice look. Now, this one is for shopping. Shopping, that's very pretty. Lance, he'll meet me at the Georges Sank. Maybe John, too. Are you sure, Theo? You go to Paris. Walk down the shows, you go to magazines, you buy things. Please, you do it. Enjoy it. Theo, I... Do it. I worry about you when I'm not with you. Take it. Let me see that dress. Do you really like it? Uh, fantastic. <laughs> They're both. Another piece of For luck. What we need. Oh, you're not passing that, oh, you're not passing that. 